Hey gang, sorry about that little bit of brightness there at the beginning of the video, but um, but it is now time to get to the Clash of Champions uh, picks, in which um, it's going to be happening tomorrow night, and um, you know, I, I hate to say this, but it looks like so far a very impressive lineup, and why do I have a bad feeling that by the end of it? It's going to be one great big disappointment. Because somehow, some way, they're going to mess this whole show up. <laughs> I mean, as long as Brock Lesnar doesn't come in and do anything, but then again, you know. Um, hopefully, it's going to be a good show. So let's cross fingers and hope and pray it works out. Okay, so let's get to the picks real, real quick. For the WWE title, Kofi Kingston takes on Randy Orton. Uh, I think Kofi to retain in this one. Uh, apparently, they did they did a spot where they kind of did the same thing. Um, how many years ago was that? Years ago, when uh, when they did a RAW from Madison Square Garden, where Kofi Kingston did the boom boom drop uh, to Randy Orton through a table. They kind of did a similar one, but this time it was a splash through a table. So it was like, come on, seriously, do we have to repeat that again? It was cool the first time, not so cool the second time around, guys. But then again, WWE is good about repeating things, so yeah. For the Universal title, Seth Rollins will take on Braun Strowman. I think Seth Rollins will definitely retain the title. Um, I see Braun Strowman as a WWE champion one day, but not a Universal champion. Uh, for the Intercontinental title, Shinsuke Nakamura takes on The Miz. I think Shinsuke is going to retain that one. The Miz has been the Intercontinental champion one too many times, and... Um, and though some people think he's a great Intercontinental Champion, I think he's average at best. <laughs> For the U.S. title, AJ Styles takes on Cedric Alexander. Uh, definitely going to have to go with AJ on that one. I think it's going to be a really good match between them, but uh, ultimately it's going to be AJ to retain. Um, For the Raw Women's title, Becky Lynch takes on Sasha Banks. Um, you know, since Sasha's been back, uh, she's been on a real tear, and I think she's going to, and, um, it's going to be hard for me to pick against Becky, the man, Lynch, but I'm going to have to go with Sasha Banks on that one. SmackDown Women's title, Bayley takes on Charlotte Flair, I think Bayley's going to retain that one, because let's face it, Charlotte Flair's been women's champion one too many times, and it's just, it's just starting to get old, so... Yeah. Uh, for the Raw Tag Team title, Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman takes on Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler. Definitely going to go with Roode and Ziggler to to win this one. Um, because, you know, let's, let's face it, I mean, Rollins and Strowman are not going to make a great tag team for very long. So, I mean, some tag teams have kind of made it work, but others just, just yeah. For the SmackDown Tag Team titles, New Day versus The Revival. Going to have to go with the New Day to retain the titles on that one. The Revival were pretty good uh, Raw Tag Team Champions, but I just don't think it's their time to be SmackDown Tag Champions just yet. Uh, for the Women's Tag Team titles, Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross will take on Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. Uh, definitely go with Bliss and Cross on that one. Um, because, um, well, I mean, Mandy Rose and you know, Sonya Deville seem like a great tag team, but... Sometimes in WWE, the really good tag team combos don't quite get their just due. So, Bliss and Cross to retain. Uh, Cruiserweight title triple threat match. Drew Gulak versus Umberto Carrillo. I, I don't watch 205 Live very much. And uh, uh, Lince Dorado, I guess. Desperado. <clears throat> Not really sure. In a triple threat title for the Cruiserweight title. Going to have to go with Drew Gulak. Uh, to retain, didn't they cancel 205 Live? Somebody said they did. I don't know if they did or not, to be honest with you. And in a new, in a no DQ match, Roman Reigns takes on Eric Rowan. I think Eric Rowan's going to win this one because it really wouldn't hurt Roman Reigns to lose this match. Um, I don't think the fans would, would care one way or the other uh, if he did uh, win or lose. If he did win, they're going to crap all over it. If he did lose, I think the fans would be a little bit more accepting of it, and they'd be they'd be pretty cool with it too. So, 
So yeah, uh, so as of this recording right now, uh, nothing planned for the pre-show, but if I was to guess what was going to go on the pre-show, I would say probably the women's tag titles and the cruiserweight title. You know, because you have 11 matches in all, and again, it looks like a very impressive lineup, but somehow, some way, they're going to screw it up. So, yeah. Oh, man. Clash Champions 2019. Um, I, I got to say, at least this year, they made it look like they're going to put all titles on the line, which is, which is really, really cool. You know, they used to do that with Knight of Champions, and... And uh, then all of a sudden they made Knight of Champions kind of a joke. So, so this is pretty cool. This is this is a um, this is this is a good thing. I like this. Uh, do they really need to put the No DQ match on there? I don't know. They probably thought it was going to be a good attraction or distraction. One of the two. So yeah, so that's going to do it, gang, for this pick video. And um, I'll try to put this in the description below between now and tomorrow. Uh, any channels that are doing picks videos. Um, so, so I hope you guys go check them out and uh, see what they have to pick. And uh, please, if you if you want to, uh, put in the comments below who you want to pick, who who you think's gonna win, or who you, who you pick to win. And um, we'll see what happens around Monday. So thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. If you like my videos. Please feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time around. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Try to be good. Try to be good to yourself, and try to be good to others. So, till the next pay-per-view, whichever one it's going to be, because I can't remember. As always, stay strong and rock on.